Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to the channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get started with Plane, which is a free and powerful project management tool that is designed for teams, creators and anyone who is managing the tasks or workflows. So whether you are working solo, running a small business or leading a remote team, Plain gives you a simple and efficient way to stay organized and manage your projects with clarity. So make sure that you watch this video until the very end so that you don't miss any of the important steps. If you would like to try Plain yourself, I have included the official link to Plain in the description box below along with other helpful tools to guide your setup. Now without further delay, let's get straight into it. First of all, you need to open your web browser. And here in the search bar, you need to search for plain.so. It is the official website of Plain. You can even click on the link that is given in the description. Now, once you are on Plain, you will have to click on the sign up option in the top right hand corner of the screen. And then you will be landed on this account creation page. Now, over here, you can provide your email address and then press continue in the bottom. On the next page, you need to create a strong password for your account and then verify your email address. If you want to continue with Google or GitHub, you can also do that by selecting the respective option. For this video, I'm going to continue with Google. So I'm going to click on it. Then after selecting my email address, it will ask you for the continuation. So click on the continue option and there you go. You have successfully created your account. So after signing up, the plane is going to ask you for setting up your password. So you need to select a password and then you need to press continue. It may also ask you to provide some of other details like what role you are working on. So you need to choose that and what is your domain of expertise. After that, you need to give your workspace a name. So here you can give anything like making a team or client project. If you want to set your work, workplace URL, you can also do that. But by default, it will take your uh, workspace name. Then it will ask how many people are there in your workspace. So you need to select that and create workspace option. If you want to add members into your workspace, you can also do that by providing their email address and giving them their role. But if you want to continue with it with later, you can just simply select the option of do it later. And there you go. You have successfully set up your plain account. And this is basically your workspace for different teams and companies. Now, once you have successfully signed up at plain, your dashboard will look something like this. In the left hand section, you will see the project that you are working on and afterwards you will see a bunch of other tabs like home inbox projects and we will go through all of these one by one. So the home page will look something like this where you can invite your team members by clicking on the get them in option and providing their email address. You can even set up your workspace. So simply click on the configure option and here you can change your workspace name, select the company size and even select the workspace URL. Afterwards, we have the option of make plain yours. So here you can click on the personalize option and you can change your personal details here. Afterwards, we have the quick links option where you can add any links that you want to uh, keep handy. So click on the add links option and provide the URL. Give the title if you want to and click on the add quick link option. In the recent tab, you will see all of your recents. Next, we have the option of your stickies. So this is basically uh, like sticky notes. So you can add any important things in the form of sticky notes over here by clicking on the add sticky option. Now, if you want to customize your home page, simply click on the manage widgets option and you can just turn on the toggle button on and turn off the toggle button if you don't want any tabs here. So this was the home page. Now you need to click on the inbox option and here your inbox, you will see all of your uh, messages and your mentions. Next, we have the projects option where you will see the current project that you have or if you have multiple projects, you will see all of them over here. In the top right hand corner, you will see the add project option. So you can add multiple projects here by clicking on the add project option you need to give your project a name and the description just like so and click on the create project option now uh, you can do a lot of stuff with your project like you can 
give cycles to it and then you can provide modules to it you can turn on any of the toggle buttons as per your needs and you can even turn off any of the toggle buttons if you don't want it so you need to click on the open project option and it will open something like this so in the projects you will see basically all of the projects that you have created uh, here you will see the created date which you can filter it out you will see a bunch of other filters as well so you can click on the filters option and you can just arrange them uh, according to your own uh, needs similarly after clicking on the more option you will see a bunch of other stuffs like archive all of your archives your dashboards your drafts and analytics so you can just view them one by one now this is the project that we have created so once you click on the project you are in you will see the work items option so click on the create your first work item and give it a title and a description just like so here you will see a bunch of other modules and options as well like backlog none uh, assignees label start date due date so if you want to apply any of these you can just select that option for example let's say you want to give it a label so you can do that and click on the create label option once you are done with it simply click on the save option and wait for it to save so it will look something like this if you click on the cycles option you can set up your first cycle so click on the first cycle option give it a name give it a description provide the start date and the end date and then click on the create cycle option so this way you will be able to manage uh, the billings next we have the modules option so if you click on the modules option you can build your first module by clicking on the uh, build module option then you need to give the title the description start date end date and select uh, backlog or in progress or completed so this module is important if you are providing certain tasks to your members so you can select whether these are in progress or completed so you need to just provide the uh, info here after that we have the lead option meaning that who is actually leading this project and who are the members in this so you can just click on the create module option and you are done next we have the views option so you can click on the views option click on the create your view provided title description uh, you can list it um, and you can even get the board view of it so you can even filter it out with by clicking on the filter option next we have the display option where you can provide the properties to the display so after giving it all of the information you need to click on the create option and this way you will be able to create all of the uh, modules in your uh, particular project again if you want to customize each one of these you need to click on the one that you want to customize and here you will see a bunch of other filters in the top which you can use in order to customize based on the information that you have added for example if you have a lot of spreadsheet or a uh, lists you can just filter that out by using this option you can even use pages here in order to write the meeting notes brainstorm the ideas and build the content that you plan so in order to create a blank page simply come on the home page and here you will see the page option so click on that and you can keep that page private and you can even share it so this is how you can get started with plain for project management from uh, setting up your workspace to managing the tasks cycles and collaborating tools if this video helped you out give it a thumbs up and leave a comment and subscribe for more tutorials like this if you have found all of these thanks for watching this video and i will see you in the next one